my Jared, all such honorable men, handpicked by Judge Wallace, honorable men of wealth and power, oh yes, all honorable men, and my son Robert, oh, like Brutus, a most honorable man, ready to, ready to make me constrained into an asylum, oh yes, ready to label me a lunatic for life, to lock me away in an asylum there to live my last days, forgotten by friends, forsaken by family. Mary Todd Lincoln, first lady of the land, Republican queen, now just a pathetic creature to be pitied. No, I will not thus be recorded in history. I will not be an embarrassing footnote to my husband's illustrious life. My defense attorney, Mr. Arnold, had nothing more to tell the jurors, nothing more on my behalf. Well, Mr. Arnold, I do. Right here in this auditorium, right here on this stage, the people will be my jury. Theirs is the verdict that matters. Why? was I brought to bear this humiliation? How could my last living and so beloved son so betray his mother? Cast me away in an asylum, would you, Robert? There to spend my days cloistered in some cell singing songs of madness like, like Shakespeare's Ophelia. Well, my mad Hamlet. I will not go away, a whimpering, wounded woman. You accuse me of madness, Robert? Well, think again. You're the mad one, mad with your mania for money, mad with your desire to impress the powerful, your lust for money. And only money dragged me into this courtroom, paraded me in front of a gossip-driven press who will prey on my every misfortune. Well, my mad Hamlet, I will show you that frailty is not a woman. Do you forget who I am, Robert? From whence I come? Well, I am from blood, both a Todd and a Parker, and the Todd and Parkers of Kentucky were brave soldiers that fought for this nation's freedom. And by the sacred bond of matrimony, I am also a Lincoln. Wife to my sainted president, President Lincoln, martyr president who sacrificed his life so that this precious freedom could be enjoyed by all people, emboldened by their spirits. I will wage a fierce defense against this accusation of insanity, an accusation that if accepted as true, will cast me in a living tomb. The only tomb that awaits me is the tomb that I will meet at my death. Gladly will I be sealed in that tomb, reunited with my cherished husband and precious sons. Until that hour, I will fight for my freedom. Do these words frighten you, Robert? Or do they merely confirm your suspicions of my lunacy? Oh, how strange it seems for a woman to be speaking so boldly on her behalf. I should merely acquiesce, resign myself to my fate. Isn't that how you would have me behave, Robert? Well, I must make you mad when I rebuke you so. And how I've made you look in the eyes of the world. Oh, oh to your dear wife Mary, but she must think what an embarrassment I have been to you both. 